Dalvin is an absolute workhorse when he is healthy. He finished with 22 uh, touches and more than 15 fantasy points per game. Excuse me. Um, 22 touchdowns, I believe. Uh, oh, no. Excuse me. Sorry. More than 22 touches and 15 fantasy points per game when he's healthy. The only downside to Dalvin is that you will almost surely have to reach for Alexander Madison to handcuff him. Um, and he, I know he's going to miss, th- he's going to miss two to five games. Well, the thing is, is like we talk about Dalvin and we don't really talk about any other running back this way. M- maybe Zeke a little bit, but it, even with Zeke, like you can still Zeke. use Pollard in a flex kind of way. And it's not a, an absolute handcuff situation. Like this is like this. Yeah. You literally, you have to reach for Madison. He sits on your bench. You end up having two roster spots uh, taking up the space for one, you know, position's worth of production. And that's the downside. Um, Two roster spots to get production from one person. Dalvin missed four games last season. He played a couple more injured, which really hurt me. Um, And by, you know, burning his output. Um, all that aside and all that being said, I, I definitely hold the line on Dalvin as running back three overall. He had 15 goal hold. line carries. He, he had 15 goal line carries, which was good for fourth in the league. He's bound to put up more than six rushing touchdowns this year. Personally, yep. I'm excited to see how the new Vikings offensive coordinator, Wes Phillips, who's coming over from the Super Bowl winning Rams can find ways to put the ball in Dalvin's hands. Um, he's our consensus running back three this season. He's currently going fourth overall behind Taylor CMC and Derek, but I just like the value. And honestly, when I wrote that, that was true. That's where Dalvin was going, but I'm on sleeper right now. And Dalvin's eight. He's going is seventh. seventh. Like, yeah, I would kill to get Dalvin at seven. That's a, that's stupid value. So, yeah, ESPN has him at six and Fantasy Pros has him at five. Uh, so there you go. And he's our consensus three. So again, not chalk. We're we're off chalk here. Yeah. W- welcome to the Sackos. Yeah. He, um, you know, three years ago, we had 13 touchdowns. Two years ago, we had f- over 1,500 yards and 16 touchdowns. And, you know, he still put together a really decent rushing yard season with 1,159 yards last year. He just didn't have the touchdowns. So that offense, we're expecting it to improve with offensive, more of offensive minds, both their head coach and, and their OC coming over from the Rams to replace Mike Zimmer. Dalvin's going to be 27 this year. And he's got a lot of mileage. He tore his ACL his first year in the league. And Jason, to your point, he's missed missed a game or two or three or four every single year. How comfortable are you? I mean, I, I know you have him at three, but because of those injury concerns and because of having to handcuff Madison and maybe taking a seventh or eighth round pick out of your hands, to make sure you have the backup to Dalvin that doesn't give you any reservations. So I I will tell you my strat. I, and I will hold true to this. Should nothing outrageous change between now and when I personally draft my first five draft picks, I will give them to you right now. Jonathan Taylor, Christian McCaffrey, the two receivers, and then Dalvin cook. Dalvin cook for me is fifth overall. Uh, he slides behind those two receivers because of those injuries, because I don't have to deal with taking Madison. But for me, he goes no lower than five. I think that even if there's less running because of the change in uh, coaching staff to Wes Phillips, not a huge concern. He's the dude there. Um, and if anything, that means he's just going to be catching more passes, which if you're in any sort of PPR format, not a bad thing. Yeah, I do actually uh, think that it's possible that his usage actually goes down a little bit and they'll try to spell him a little bit more with Madison to keep him fresh so that he doesn't get hurt. You know, because there are very few 
offensive systems that don't spell their running backs. And Dalvin very rarely ever came off the field, even, you know, on, you know, it seems like the beginning of the second quarter, beginning of the fourth quarter is kind of like that break drive for a lot of starting running backs. And he's not getting the break. I mean, Delvin's staying in there almost almost every play the entire game. And so I, I wouldn't be surprised to see them mix Madison in a little bit more uh, to, to try to keep Cook healthy uh, throughout the year, which I think would be beneficial uh, as a Delvin Cook owner this year. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to pull up some snap count summaries real quick uh, because I don't think you really have to look very much further than where Wes Phillips came from uh, and, and, and looking at how he uses his running backs. So, yeah, I mean, the, the Rams spread it out to they kind of found the hot hand. Obviously, they didn't really contrary. have anybody. It may have changed. It, it may have changed week to week. Week one, Daryl Henderson, 94 percent snap share. Ooh. Uh, week Three, Sony Michelle, 74% snap share. Daryl Henderson was out because he got hurt in week two. Uh, week four, Henderson comes back, <laughs> 90 plus percent snap share. Week six, 88 or 82% snap share, Henderson. Week seven, 88%. Uh, then he gets dinged up again, misses some time, 80%. And then, okay, he's out a few weeks. And guess what? Sony Michelle snap share, 97%, 100%, 73%, 90%, 100%. 98%. Percent, ninety-eight percent, eighty percent. Like, no, uh, uh-uh. there is no split. All right, I West, take it back. They they went back and forth between the dudes. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but it was true. because of health. So uh, that well, that's why I kind of bounced from week to week. But it was purely health. If, and if, we know Delvin Cook can't stay healthy, so yeah. you should definitely handcuff Madison with him. Yeah, I mean, even <laughs> Acres in his third game back in week twenty. Of the season, eighty percent snap share. Like, I so. I already can't wait until like our week five or six waiver show, where we are talking about the fact that Alexander Madison is only rostered in like sixty two percent of leagues or something <laughs> like that. Needs to be rostered we'll everywhere. S- 